and welcome by the Netherlands Cancer Institution in Amsterdam. Today we take you with us with the animal caretaker and show you how we work at the NKE Animal Laboratory. I'm Brooke and I work here now for three years. And I'm Sabrina and I work here for four years. Come inside! This is the building where we house all our animals. In the corner you can see a picture of a fingerprint reader. This is used to enter our building, but also the different floors. These are for security reasons, so not everyone can enter the facility or some specific rooms. An example is the room for the MRI. Our building has six different floors. When we start from the top, there is first the fifth and the fourth floor, which are used for our technical machines that regulate the climate for the whole building. On the third floor, we have a breeding unit. The second floor, we have an experimental breeding unit and room for some experiments. And the first floor is only designed for experimental use and is the mouse cancer clinic. And on the ground floor, we have the logistics, quarantine and administration. We both work on the third floor. When we come inside, we have to change in an animal caretaker suit. And when we go up to the unit, we change again in a gym suit with a face mask and a hairnet. We have a short video to show you how we get into the unit. We change in a jumpsuit. Put a face mask on. Scrub our hands and wrists and cleaning nails. Some alcohol. And then we go for 45 seconds in the air shower. In the video you can see an all round view of a typical animal room, which contains racks to house the animals and a flow cabinet where we work in. The climate in the room is always the same and is based on the needs for the animals defined by law. The animals have a natural day and night cycle of 12 hours and always have the background noise of a radio so they don't get startled when we enter the room. In every room we have a disposable single ventilated cages with some cage supplements and cage enrichment. Think about a wood stick, paper stripes and a red dome. always start off our day by a check round to see if the animals have enough water and food but also to check for new litters that are born and a quick check for any sick animal. Then in each room we start with the daily work of cleaning cages, weaning litters, starting and ending breeding pairs and sending out animals to other departments for experiments. If we are done with the daily tasks start, we start with our welfare rounds. With welfare, we check every cage individually and provide them food, new nesting materials and other cage enrichments when needed. We also check breeding pairs for a new pregnancy and born litters. But most importantly, we check the health status of every mice. When there is something wrong, we register this as a welfare issue. We use the color of a traffic light to determine the severity of the issue. Green means a healthy mice, yellow means there is something that is different from normal but doesn't affect the mice, orange means there is something that is different from normal and affects the mice slightly, and red means there is something that is different from normal and affects the mice heavily. Immediate action is needed. In a case of an orange welfare issue, a researcher has to respond and act within 24 hours, and for a red welfare issue it's 12 hours.
We put a male and a female with the right genotype together to make sure that the pups have the right genome for the future experiments. A station has a during around 21 days with average eight pups a litter. Pups are weaning at 21 days, so separated from their parents. Thanks for watching and we hope that you have a good view of our daily work at the NKE Laboratory Animal Facility.